What's good YouTube? JD here back with yet another video for you guys and in this video we will be talking about the most hyped sneaker of the year so far and definitely the biggest W I've ever gotten. I will be reviewing the Travis Scott and Fragment Jordan 1 High. So what up fam, I hope you guys are doing well and absolutely killing it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Josh and you can call me JD. And I'm just a guy who has a bit of a sneaker addiction and I love making videos and content for you guys as well. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. I'm very close to hitting that 50K mark. It would mean a lot if you guys are subscribed. And of course, definitely follow your boy on IG. The handle is right here. It is at JDKick6. I drop a lot of content on there, including fit pics, some outfit ideas. I also give you guys previews of what's sneakers I'm about to review and definitely I am very engaged on there I talk to pretty much anyone who DMs me so make sure you guys follow your boy on IG but enough about me we know why you guys are here so let's get into it in this video I will be breaking down this sneaker I'll get into this colorway and also the quality of the sneaker I'll talk about the collab itself Jordan 1 fragment did we really need this collab is there such a thing as too much hype we'll get into the prices as well of what these are going for right now and I have not seen prices like this on a sneaker in a really long time and of course as always i will be giving you guys that on feet look so make sure you stick around until the end of this video so here it is the fragment travis scott jordan one high before we even get into the video put a word in the comments what is the first word that came to your mind when you saw this sneaker a lot of you guys were asking me on instagram how i was able to cop these well i don't know how i got this lucky but i somehow hit on these sneakers and stuff raffle I actually didn't believe it when I got the raffle email because in the past I've had raffle wins from sneakers and stuff that ended up getting canceled. So I was like, man, until I see this in hand, I'm not gonna believe that I actually got these for retail. These were extremely limited, especially here in Europe. Europe didn't even get a sneakers app release, which is definitely crazy. The hype on this pair was unreal. So to not even have a sneakers release was definitely disappointing for a lot of people. From a hype point of view, it doesn't get any more hype than this. We got Fragment, perhaps the biggest Japanese streetwear brand out there. We got the biggest name in hip hop, Travis Scott, and of course the Jordan 1 the most iconic silhouette from Jordan brand. Three huge brands combining on one sneaker and Travis even took it one step further when he dropped his merch. We saw a Travis, Fragment, Nike and Cause combo on some of his shirts. But let's get into the shoes. Starting off with the box, you get this blue, royal blue and white box which matches of course the colorway of the sneaker and the box is inside this plastic cover. This box features a bunch of logos including Nike as well as Cactus Jack and Fragment logos. The official colorway listed on the box is sale black and military blue. Getting into this colorway most of the sneaker is actually done in this white color that's the base of the shoe and then we got some hits of this military blue on the toe box as well as the back panel of the shoe. And this colorway was in fact an unreleased colorway from the Jordan archives. It was supposed to be called the reverse royal colorway. And that is where Hiroshi Fujiwara, who is the creator of Fragment, that's exactly where he got his inspiration from when choosing the colors for this collab. The swoosh on the lateral and medial sides done in this black leather. And of course, on the lateral side, we have that iconic Travis Scott reverse swoosh, which we first saw on his OG collab, which I do have back here. This was the mocha pair. The midsole is done in this faded color. It looks like an off-white or eggshell color. The sneaker comes standard with these black laces, but alongside these, you also get a pair of these military blue as well as white, and you also get a pair of pink, which we've seen on a lot of previous Travis collabs. I would personally love to throw some cream laces on here to match that midsole. And if you guys don't already know, I do sell them at my shop, Elevate Laces. The link is in the description. We do ship worldwide. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys actually think of the color blocking? Like not the collab, just let me know about the color blocking. Do you think this is a dope colorway on a Jordan 1? I personally much prefer the colorway on the low top version, which we will be seeing in the next couple of weeks. I wish they put that on the highs. I think that's a way nicer looking colorway. On this one, I just feel like there's a bit too much white going on. There's a bit too much empty space, especially here near the swoosh. Like there's a big 
empty area of white here. And I just think it looks a little bit weird, but let me know down in the comments if you guys agree with me. Do you guys prefer this high top or do you prefer the low top colorway? You also get some additional features with this shoe, like the stash pocket that you see in the ankle collar. And of course, this collab wouldn't be complete if you didn't have that branding by both Travis and Fragment. On the left pair, you see the Cactus Jack logo. On the right pair, that Fragment logo. On the medial side of the shoe as well, there is a bit of writing here, and I'm not entirely sure what this means. I do see it says Travis and Hiroshi. The rest of it seems to be some kind of serial number. Let me know down in the comments if you guys know what this writing means. I gotta say, I love the quality on this sneaker. This leather is just so nice. I did think that the leather on the OG pair, the Mochas, was some of the best leather we have seen on a Jordan 1 over the last few years. And they used basically the exact same leather it seems like nike has a special leather that they put on these super hype collabs you really do not see this type of leather on any of their gr pairs or their less hype collabs this is some of the nicest leather you could possibly get on a jordan one but talking about the shoe would not be complete without talking about what these are going for right now because the prices on these are just absurd these are going for over three thousand dollars in some sizes the hype is absolutely through the roof. I cannot believe people are paying $3,000 for a pair of shoes. The OG Mocha pair, I know that the quantity was definitely higher than the Fragments, but I remember when these first dropped, in that first week, they were going for under $1,000. So it's crazy to see a follow-up colorway going for three times that much. And because the prices are so high, because the hype is just at an all-time high right now, I'm not so sure if the prices are gonna continue going up, at this level, let's be honest, there aren't that many people who can afford buying these shoes. There's a very limited market out there. So for that reason, I don't know if these are gonna, you know, hit 10K anytime soon. Of course, I could be wrong, but that's just my feeling. Of course, let me know down in the comments if you disagree. What do you think the prices on these will be maybe a year from now? But let's wrap this thing up. The Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragment. Is this a cop or a drop? For those of you who are new to the channel, this is the part of the review where I just give you my feedback, what I think of the sneaker, whether I personally think it's a cop or a drop. And listen, man, you guys might disagree with me here. I might get a lot of thumbs down for saying this, but I'm not really in love with these. The main reason being this sneaker kind of represents what I really don't like these days about sneaker culture and just sneakers in general. In the past, a collab used to mean something. There was a good story behind it. A lot of thought went into it. It wasn't just a collab for the sake of being a collab. But now it seems like collabs kind of work like this. Hey, you got a hype brand? Cool, let's make a shoe together and let's sell some pairs. And that is exactly what this shoe feels like to me. We got the hottest rapper in the world. We got the hottest Japanese brand. We got the hottest Jordan 1 model. This collab really feels like it was created for one reason and one reason only, to generate as much hype as possible, to feed that hype machine. And I wanna say specifically, Nike seems to have created this appetite for hype that they gotta constantly, you know, keep feeding with more and more and more hype things. Like I'm pretty sure next year at some point, we're probably gonna see an Off-White and Travis collab. Because what else can you do after doing something this hype? You need to create something even more hype. And that's kind of what I don't really like about the shoe, what it represents. Also the colorway, like forget about hype, just the colorway alone, I'm not really feeling all this white on the shoe. I prefer the low tops. And I certainly don't think they're worth the prices that they're going for, but that is my opinion. Of course, a sneaker is worth however much someone is willing to pay for it. So my opinion definitely doesn't matter. But yeah, guys, for me, the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1 Highs, these are a drop. Once again, don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram. The handle is right here at JDKick6. Let me know down in the comments what did you guys think about this video. Also, one more thing, just wanted to plug the podcast if you haven't already heard it. We just did an episode recently actually talking exclusively about what a collab is worth nowadays. So make sure you listen to that, the Kickback Pod, available Spotify, iTunes. And thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and for watching this video, the on-feed portion of the video dropping right now. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.